All right, back on Morning Line, we continue to bring guests on live via Skype or Facebook or whatever we can do to get them on, not in the studio, to talk about some of the issues many of you are dealing with right now with the coronavirus. Some of you have lost your jobs, and as a result, you might have lost your health insurance. Joining us to talk about what options are out there is Emily Fauché. She's a health care access coordinator for Family and Children's Services. Good morning to you. Can you hear me all right? Good morning, I can. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. I'm doing well. It's nice to see you. And uh, wanted to ask, so the situation is so many people, we just did an unemployment segment earlier in the show, have lost their, their jobs, and so they've lost their income. Are there some that have, you know, lost their jobs that also are losing their health insurance? I don't know if some businesses are maybe at least keeping them on health insurance even though they're not working. What are we seeing since we're hoping whatever situation most of us are in is considered temporary? Yeah, so there's a lot of insurance options for people either losing their jobs or maybe they didn't have insurance through their jobs, but their income is drastically low and they can't afford the insurance through their mm -hmm. jobs anymore. Um, there are insurance options available for you. Um, they may, they're not, you know, these are insurance options that are meant to be long term. They're not those short term health plans that you hear about, but um, they can be short term for anyone who needs them short term. So uh, cool. you can cancel them at any time. If you get um, back, you know, you can you can cancel that coverage and get back in your workplace coverage. All right. So let me just give you a scenario. I have a good friend of mine that uh, had benefits, was working full time at a nice restaurant, so lost his job right now. And uh, he's at home, um, not with an income coming in, and, and he doesn't have health insurance right now. So wh what do you recommend? Where, how does he start if he wants to get what hopefully yeah. will be in his mind short term? I mean, he's expecting when this passes, maybe a month, two months, whatever, he'll be back at work with his full benefits. But for that time period in between, what do you suggest? How does someone go about you know, taking that first step now? Yeah, and that's a really important step to take because obviously we know the situation right now, you know, anybody can get sick, you never know what's going to happen. It's important to have health insurance, even if it's just, a, you know, if you're just hoping that it's going to be just a few months. So the first step I would always suggest because the systems are complicated and there's a lot of options out there for you. Um, you can give us a call at Family and Children's Service. The first thing that we do is screen you for all available options. And then based on what you're eligible for, we would help you enroll. So we help with enrollment with TenCare, which is Tennessee's Medicaid um, system, Cover Kids, which is a portion of the state-based um, health insurance options, and then also Marketplace Insurance, which a lot of people know of as healthcare.gov or Obamacare, whatever you want to call it. Um, that is available and an option for people to enroll right now as well. Okay, so. How do they contact? So you say call family and children's services, and, and so basically, you know, yes. you kind of walk them through the process and point them in the right direction. Yeah, just because the eligibility for 10 care, for cover case, for marketplace, all those things have different rules about who can be eligible. Um, and we can talk about those a little bit, but sometimes it's easier just to give us a call. We'll screen you, and then based on your eligibility, we can let you know what you might be eligible for and even get you an appointment to talk over the phone with somebody who can help you step by step through that um, and, uh, through that enrollment process if you want. So our phone number is 866-475-7879. And we also have a website, too, for people who would prefer not to call, but to go ahead, just yeah. um, schedule an appointment to call, talk to somebody over the phone. You can pick the time and day that works for you, and we'll have somebody give you a call if you schedule through our website. i got to ask you. That's our website oh, go ahead, is go ahead, Get. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. It's Get. <laughs> it's Get Covered, T-E-N-N, -N, so <laughs> GetCovered10.org. That's awesome. Um, I'm just wondering, too, uh, we were talking with uh, the Department of Labor. They are snowed under right now. I'm just curious, if, if some, how busy are you guys? Is someone, if they call that number, going to get a busy signal? Should they leave a message? Or I mean, do you have operators right now, and you, you can take those calls? We have someone manning that phone line, um, several people manning that phone line throughout the work day. If you call, but you can call after hours. If you call during the work day and someone doesn't answer, um, leave a message and we will get back to you um so um yeah absolutely leave a message okay. on those phone lines and we have that phone line available in several languages in arabic kurdish spanish and english 
Excellent. And I'll give that phone number again at the end of the program for folks. So just so we're clear too, as you say, there's options. You mentioned 10 care, and I know a lot of these are need-based and everyone calling you will have need. But whatever policy maybe someone finds, even if it's one just to cover some catastrophic health event, a lot of people just say, well, I can handle a little sore throat, but if I were to you know, break my leg or something, I need coverage. Are you going to have to pay something? Because a lot of these people don't have a paycheck. They may have some savings, but as you go through these Systems. I mean, are there some out there where you pay next to nothing? How does that work out? That's a great question. So again, it depends what you're eligible for. So for 10 care, cover kids, um, those systems are, you, you don't pay anything to be enrolled in that. Um, and for marketplace, it's a little bit more complicated. It's mm -hmm. depending on your on your yearly income. So if your income's a lot lower than you expected it to be, your the lower your income is, the lower your premium is um, up to a certain point. So um, it is. It, the, the nice thing about that is it's income based. Um, and then for ten care and cover kids, it's um, there is no premium for that. Okay, and I'm just, as we kind of wrap things up here, I'm just wondering uh, what your observations are from where you sit with the calls coming in. It's interesting when uh, Mary Elena told me you were going to come on and addressing the health insurance issue, even I, as I've been covering this, that hasn't really occurred to me, that aspect of it. We see so many people getting treatment and all this. Are, are people, you know, right now, just now coming around to this, do you think? Because at some point they're gonna to have to address health insurance, I would think, or coverage, but they're so preoccupied with so many other things happening in our lives right now. What's your take on that? Yeah, and, and I, I would agree with you. I mean, we haven't had that much of an increase of calls, and I think it, it's probably due to a lot of that people trying to get their immediate needs. Where am I gonna get right. food? How? What am I gonna do about my job? And then, they have to take a step back and think, oh my gosh, I don't have health insurance anymore. Oh my gosh, I have health insurance through work, but it's unaffordable. Is there any other, anything else that I can do? Um, so, you know, and then, and then I think probably some people had health insurance through their job that was able to last a little bit longer, but now they're just starting to lose it. Or um, another thing I think is, these are people, I think a lot of people who are, losing jobs now, losing coverage, may have never dealt with systems like this before. Right. You know, same thing with Department of Labor is seeing, you may have never applied for benefits before. And so I think maybe a lot of people think, oh, it's okay, I just figure it out, I'll just call Tank Care myself or go on the website. And, and the reality is um, the systems, especially with the health insurance, it's very difficult. And that application process can be really long. Um, and so we're hoping that people will call us so that we can help them through that process. Um, because, you know, we know all those little tips and tricks and um, um, quirks with the application to, to help people make sure that, that it all processes smoothly. And, and same thing if somebody, you know, has applied on their own, but they've been denied or they haven't gotten an answer or they don't know why they have to send in certain information. We can help at any stage throughout that application process. That is excellent. Listen, um, we've worked with you guys before when you've been on the show. It's nice talking to you this way, and I really appreciate it. I'm I, I, glad you could come on with us this morning. I think people need to think about it. Think about it. Emily, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. All right, it's a pleasure having her. She's great. And I uh, just want to remind everyone, again, this is a, a nonprofit, um, you know, public service, family and children's services. So um, they're going to give you impartial information. It doesn't cost anything to call them. I will give you their phone number again here real quick and then again at the end of the show, 866-475-7879. 866-475-7879. So don't hesitate to call them to help them or have them help you walk through the process of finding what may help you without the insurance until it comes back for you. A lot of us uh, might find ourselves in that pickle. And uh, she's absolutely right. For so many people right now, it's the first time in their lives they're either applying for health insurance in this way or perhaps unemployment because they've always had jobs and everything's just shut down now. So take advantage of these benefits. They're out there for you. We'll take a break. When we come back, more of your calls, the phone lines, if you're on hold, stay there. If you have questions about unemployment, health insurance, the uh, stimulus checks or more, 737-7587, our last segment right after this.